food, Buddhist stories, the hundred-headed fish, the peaceful heaven being steeds, and the trias trims are heaven gatherings, part five of eight, on between master and disciples, given in English on August 9th, 2015, in Rocky Brun, Cap Martin, France. This is a story of the Buddha. First I have heard again from Anand. Thank you, thank you that he has remembered all this for us. And thank all the Sangha who uh, collected them and brought it all down at that time, even how difficult it was for them. Uh, at one time, the Buddha was in the Triastrimsha heaven, speaking Dharma for his mother. His mother already passed away after his birth, remember? And she went to, to Sita heaven. Oh no, she went to this uh, Triastrimsha heaven. This is one of the heavens in the third world, okay? I told you every level has many, many heavens and different names. Yeah. You see that? Heaven is not all there is. You see, that's what heaven beings. They always come down and make offerings to the Buddha. And because of the offerings, he continued to be able to live up there. Many heaven beings cannot live there long, maybe two, three, five, four thousand, hundred years, but then have to be reborn again. But this one is continuing to offer to seven Buddhas already, it means how many Kaupas passed, and then another thousand Buddhas in, in the future. That means he will live long in heaven due to his merit of offering to the Buddhas. Yes. That was just symbolic only. Yeah, he cannot always manifest himself to go down and make offerings to the Buddha like that. But it's also because of his uh, past merit. You see what I mean? He offered the Buddha in the past one time. So that became like his karma, his tradition. So whenever the Buddha comes to this world, he also manifests himself from heaven and offers one time bath and food. So history always repeats itself. You do good things, you will continue to do that, life after life. If you do bad things, you will continue in this evil path for a long, long time, until you don't know when you wake up and then you change. At that time, numerous, uncountable, many Buddhas and great Bodhisattvas or Mahasattvas from infinite worlds in the ten directions assembled to praise Sekamoni Buddha. How? how Sekamoni Buddha is able to manifest powerfully great wisdom and spiritual uh, penetrations in the evil world of the five turbidities. They lauded how he regulates and subdues obstinate beings so they learn what causes suffering and what brings cessation of suffering and brings bliss. Each sends his attendants to pay their respect to the world honor one. At that time, the thirst come one means not coming, not going, you know, meaning the Buddha. Same, he has ten titles. And thirst come one is one of his titles. Thirst come one means he just comes anytime he wants, anywhere he wants, he goes anywhere, anytime he wants. No come, no go, yeah? Ru lai. He smiled, the Buddha smiled and emitted billions of great light clouds, or light beams. Yeah. There was a light cloud of great fullness, a light cloud of great compassion, a light cloud of great wisdom, a light cloud of great prasna, a light cloud of great samadhi, a light cloud of great auspiciousness, a light cloud of great blessing, a light cloud of great merit, a light cloud of great refuge, and a light cloud of great praise. <laughs> yeah, each beam that he emits has special meaning and benefit to other beings, yeah? And this is also a thirst I have heard, meaning Anand wasn't there. <laughs> he couldn't go to heaven. This means another person was up in there with the Buddha together, one of his disciples, and then came back 
and told the story, just like one of your sister's brothers tells the story that he went to heaven with the master, Ching Hai, and all that, but you guys don't know. You see what I mean? Okay. So you will say, thus I have heard. Yeah? The sister of Hong Kong says this. <laughs> the brother from America says that. Okay? Because you have not seen. He has not seen, but he heard the story. He was always next to the Buddha, so he heard many stories. So he remembered and wrote it down. After emitting indescribably many light clouds, he also uttered many wonderful subtle sounds. There was the sound of Dana Paramita, the sound of Shila Paramita, the sound of Shanti Paramita, uh, means peace, you know? The sound that brings peace, just like the light cloud brings peace or happiness, things like that. The sound of Vijaya Paramita, I don't know all this, okay? Sorry. Like, like Shanti, for example, is peace. Yeah, every other thing, I have to check the dictionary. The sound of Dhyana Paramita, that means meditation, yeah? Uh, samadhi. And the sound of Prasna Paramita. Prasna, I guess, is wisdom. There was the sound of compassion, the sound of joyous giving, the sound of liberation, the sound of no outflows, the sound of wisdom, the sound of great wisdom, the sound of lions roar, the sound of great lions roar, the sound of thunder clouds, and the sound of great thunder clouds. Mm. After he uttered indescribably many sounds, countless millions of gods, dragons, ghosts, and spirits from the Shaha and other worlds. Shaha means our world, okay? Mm. And other worlds also gathered in the palace of the Trimsha heaven. They came from the heaven of the four kings, the Trimsha heaven as well, the Suyama heaven, the Tushita heaven, the blissful transform transformation heaven, and the heaven of comfort gained through others' transformations. I told you, there are many heavens, and they have different names, okay? Yeah. They came from the heaven also of the multitudes of Brahma, the heaven of the ministers of Brahma, <laughs> the heaven of the great ba Brahma Lord himself, the heaven of lesser light, the heaven of limitless light, the heaven of light south, the heaven of lesser purity, the heaven of limitless purity, and the heaven of universal purity. They came also from the birth of blessings heaven, the love of blessings heaven, the abundant fruit heaven. Heavens have fruit. <laughs> <laughs> That's good for us, no? In case you think you might be starving and have nothing to eat. Remember the heaven being from peaceful heaven, he brought down food yeah, and all the delicacies from heaven to offer to the Buddha. So don't worry that you go starving in there, okay? <laughs> Maybe you starve here, but not in heaven. <laughs> yeah. The no thought heaven, the no affliction heaven, the no heat heaven, the good views heaven, the good manifestation heaven, the ultimate form heaven, the Maheshvara heaven, and so forth, so forth, to the heaven of the station of neither thought nor non-thought, all those groups of gods, dragons, and ghosts and spirits came and gathered together. Mm -hmm. Wow! Even, even the heaven is very high of the thought nor non-thought means very peaceful there, yeah, no desire, nothing. And they still come down to worship the Buddha. Come down to that heaven, huh? yeah. where his mother uh, resides. His mother died after the birth and went straight to this heaven. And now he came up there to pay homage to her and preach the Dharma to her so that she can go higher. Moreover, sea spirits, river spirits, stream spirits, tree spirits, mountain spirits, earth spirits, brook and marsh spirits, sprout and seedling spirits. And you thought you were eating from your own hands, from your own planting. You have to always give thanks, okay? There are different fairies, spirits, and uh, elements. They're helping with your plantation, yeah, with your trees, everything. Everything, we own everything to everything. Hmm? It's not easy. It's not like we are alone. It's not like that. But of course you don't see them. They don't always manifest themselves for you to see, only when necessary. 
Oh, I forgot. You haven't eaten, right? Yes? Yes. yes some. some yes, some no, right? Uh, it's okay? Yes. You, you, you won't die, promise? <laughs> I also ate only once today. You also ate breakfast, right? Yes, once. Yes. Okay, we both won't die. <laughs> I remember a few days ago, you told me even, we won't eat, we won't eat. Because I, I told you about difficult, if we go somewhere else and how do we arrange the food and everything immediately. You say, we, we, we won't eat, we won't eat. <laughs> Just talking easy, huh? <laughs> even I asked you to eat once a day, only one person volunteered. <laughs> I did not even say you, you should, I just say, would you like to, you know? Because after reading the eight uh, ways of purification, one of them is to eat once a day only at noon. You know, be afternoon you won't eat again. Only one say I do, but maybe she didn't understand what she's up to. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't really get what I said, you know what I mean? She just came from the airplane and still... <laughs> huh? Still jet lag, yeah, and then anything Master say is good, good, you know? <laughs> If Master says so, it must be good. <laughs> so, okay, okay. <laughs> I guess she changed her mind, you know, a thousand times already. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say you should, you know. I said, according to that, wouldn't any of you want to, you know, follow up? Nobody volunteered. Nada. Not even one hand came up. It's okay. Please don't die, okay, until the next meal. It will still be there waiting for you after we finish. Or you want me to finish now and come back later? <laughs> you sure about that? Yeah. You're not cramped or anything? No. Oh dear, I am. <laughs> I was hoping you say yes, Master. <laughs> Please come back later. <laughs> okay. On the strength of your blessing, I continue to sit here. <laughs> All right. So you see, there are so many, even they. And spirits, night spirits, and space spirits, heaven spirits, food and drink spirits, grass and wood spirits, and other such spirits from the Saha, our world, and other worlds came and gathered together. Wow. So now you know why I tell you before you eat, you should give thanks. Okay? Thank all who helps to manifest this food for you. In addition, are the great ghost kings, wow, from the Saha and other worlds came and gathered together. Imagine, even ghosts, they have it better than us. Huh? Many of you couldn't go to heaven where the Master went. Huh? Some people can, but some cannot. But the ghosts, they all can come. What? They were the ghost king evil eyes. <laughs> God, even then has enough power to go up to this this heaven is not very high, okay? Yeah, of course not above the three worlds. So many of them are allowed to enter, I guess, just temporarily. Let me see, is that the third heaven? Or oh. this Atri himself? I was thinking it was the third heaven, but maybe not. So many names, <laughs> I might forget everything. Sorry, just second level. Mm. Border in the third level. Yeah, one of the heavens in the second level. Even the ghost king, the ghost king blood drinker, oh God, the ghost king essence and energy eater, uh. Uh. the ghost king fetus and egg eater, God, the ghost king spreader of sickness, the ghost king collector of poisons, the ghost king, kind-hearted. Oh, thank God for a change. The ghost king, blessings and benefits. There are two kinds, positive and negative. Even in the ghost, in the ghost kingdom, there are two kinds of ghosts. The ghost king, great regard and respect, and others, etc., etc. Only the ghost kings can come, huh? Maybe the subordinate ghost cannot come. Yes. I guess somebody has to govern these spirits and these ghosts, you know? So maybe the king of the ghosts doesn't mean he's one of them. Hmm? Yeah, probably he's just 
assigned to go in this ghost kingdom to take care that they don't do wrong things, they don't drink, uh, eat uh, people in the wrong area. You know, maybe not to touch the virtuous people, yeah? Maybe like that. At that time, Shakyamuni Buddha said to the Dharma prince, Bodhisattva Mahasattva Manjushri, oh here, Manjushri, yeah. Have any of you heard this story about Stora Bodhisattva already? Yes or no? no. Mongolian? No. The Tibetan monks don't read this, don't give you all this? No. Mm. Okay. They, they should have, you know? Sh- should translate to others, other um, countries' language also, no? And uh, like uh, Tibetan is a Buddhist country. Buddhist race, or probably they should know, but maybe they don't read it. They don't give it to the lay people. When you ask, you probably have. Hmm? When you ask, you might have it. Hmm. Uh, the Buddha said to Manjushri, "As you regard these Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, gods, dragons, ghosts, and spirits from this land and other lands who are now gathered in the Trayastrimsha heaven, do you know their number?" Manchushri is supposed to be very wise, yeah, and knowing a lot. So Manchushri said to the Buddha, World honored one, even if I were to measure and reckon with my spiritual powers for a thousand aeons, I would not be able to know their number. Whew. So we give up. Huh? <laughs> if Manchushri cannot for thousands of aeons, what about us? Huh? Forget it, yeah. The Buddha told Manjushri, regarding them with my Buddha eye, I also cannot count them all. Oh, even the Buddha get up. So, okay, we are not so bad, you know. Even the Buddha cannot, the Manjushri cannot, then we don't feel that bad, do we? <laughs> do you feel bad? No. no. Good, good. <laughs> it's a comfort to know that the Buddha cannot count, because too much, too much, too much, too many that gather to to any Buddha gathering, so many, many gods and ghosts and spirits all come to see him. Yeah. Because it's really that the Buddha appears anywhere. Understand? If he's in Nirvana, nobody can see him, nobody can feel him. But he, he, if he appears already on the physical planet, then he can uh, connect himself to all the other higher planets, higher level of spiritual. So then, even heaven can see him, yeah. but if he's not manifested, then not everyone can see him. Even heaven beings, yeah. That's why they all gather so quick, so great number. Even the Buddha could not count. Those beings have been taken across, meaning have been liberated. Yes, uh, are being taken across, meaning being helped to liberate now, at this time, or will be taken across. Those are spirits and ghosts probably have not been liberated yet, but will be. That's why Buddha say, already been done or doing now or will be done. Will be taken across, have been brought to accomplishment, are being brought to accomplishments, or will be brought to accomplishments by earth store bodhisattva throughout many eons. All these beings have been helped, or will be helped by Bodhisattva, called Earth Star, Christigaba. I think it's Christigaba, right? I think so. If it's wrong, I will correct later. His name meaning Earth Star Bodhisattva. Yeah? 